Alright, so what I got here is a Macintosh Classic 2 M1450 with the 40 megabyte Quantum Pro Stick hard drive. Um, Sony uh, 1.4 megabyte auto inject floppy drive that needs to get lubricated, but as always works. Um, it's got a 68030 processor clocked at 16 megahertz, which is that little fucker, which is that little sucker right there. And then there's a spot right here for a ROM expansion. You can also put an FPU expansion in it, so we can have a falling point unit with it. I just recapped the logic board. It still needs a good cleaning, but I did manage to get this thing to power up. I had the um, two thick um, jail bar, and what I did was I took the bar, uh, the board out, cleaned it in the kitchen sink, and then booted up without a problem, which was actually quite surprising. Um, the next thing to recap is the analog board, which will be in the future once I get this thing dusted off and. Well, lubricate the flapper drive because it sticks a little bit. Like when I put this in, it takes like a few seconds for it to go down. So I gotta fix that. So I'm over the truth. I'm gonna turn the light off here so I can see the magic spell. Just like that. The chime actually. The thing actually sprung to life quicker this time because it normally took like a couple of seconds, like two, three seconds for the chime to start. And I think it's because of the capacitors being a little bit lopsided. But anyway, here is the Macintosh with 6.0.8L installed. 4 megabytes of memory. And like I said, 40 megabyte hard drive. You can see how much space is left on here. I'm using my Antrex mouse. So I push the button right here. I'm sure if you can see this. So I right click, it basically access the sticky click. I think you can use this mouse to get to pop break. So here it is the Macintosh fully repaired. Let me go ahead and push the reboot button. Oh, wait, they even go through the gray screen, that's weird. I think it's because I have to have it off and then... It doesn't even go to the crash thing, but the crash, the crash of a chime works. I think it's because I need to recap this analog board. Maybe that might fix it, I'm not sure. Like I said, I have to lubricate this fiber drive. Well, no. The system works. Not too shabby if I say so myself. It's a good clean recap and it's all fixed. <coughs> How lucky can you get?